up y'all it's Bri and I'm back with this new video for you I feel like it's been a minute maybe not anyway I wanted to do this video because I decided that I wanted to add a new segment to my channel so I decided that I would call these videos Sephora sample Sundays now definitely these won't be videos that come up every Sunday um, but as things become available when new products come out or things that I'm curious about trying I definitely wanted to use this as an opportunity to share some new products or things with you via Sephora this week I wanted to try out the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani and the reason why I wanted to try this is because I'm always interested in trying out new foundations and a lot of people don't even know that Sephora is really happy to give samples to their customers um you can get up to five samples if you have a good person that you're working with I think a lot of people think that you have to stand in line and wait to be tested and try out different products I know for myself as having worked for Mac um, that a lot of times the lighting in those stores is not the best and so you may get color matched with a product that doesn't necessarily look good when you step out of the store into the real world into the daylight or nightlight um, and you see things that you may have wanted to correct so this is my way of showing you guys awesome alternatives as well as products that you may be interested in trying out but not ready to make the total investment on just yet from higher end stores I decided that I will go ahead hit up Sephora give me a couple samples see how I like it in my real life and then decide if I want to go ahead and make the purchase so if you guys want to see how I did this demo to see how this foundation looks then keep on watching and I decided to get two samples um, of this foundation because I don't know which one I wear so I got number 8.5 and I also picked up number 9 so we're gonna see how this works now obviously I've never done this before I've never used this before um, it's a little messy on the packaging because it's spilled just in case someone is curious um, when the manager was giving me the supplant the supplies <laughs> the supplants this one here is 8.5 and I don't know if you can see but it's a little bit reddish to me so I'm a little nervous about this one and then this one is number nine which actually makes me feel a little bit more confident it has like a more yellowish kind of base to it so we're gonna try these out the primer that I used all over is the elf primer mist and then I also primed with my Too Faced Primed and Poreless. If you guys are interested in somewhat reviews on either of these products, I will have it linked on the screen. They were featured in my recent current favorites video. So I think that I feel more confident using number nine. It's strange that this is 8.5 and this is so much deeper than the other one, but I'm gonna use number nine. Oh, she ain't give me none. It's nothing in here. Oh, stingy thing. And I decided to do my brows after today because I noticed in my NYX or NYX Total Control Foundation Drops video, there was a lot of like blank space around my eyebrows. I typically do my brows before I do my foundation, but because um, of the way it looks, obviously it makes more sense to do it after. This looks like the right color. So for anyone who's curious, I am NC42 in MAC foundation. I am classic tan or tan in almost every foundation. Okay, so I applied it. Let's see how it looks. It's not too bad. I think it's a good color. Let's just compare sides. This is with foundation. This is without. I actually like it. So since I have so little, I'm going to apply um, some on this side to even it out. And then whatever I have left, I'll use to build um, to see what it really looks like. So here's the first full layer of the foundation. I don't think it looks bad. Now that I see it on my skin, it does look a little bit more pinkish than yellow. But I can easily correct that with a under eye concealer. So that's not a really big deal. So now that we have one full layer on... I can still see some areas that I like to cover um, under here so I definitely am going to try to see if we can build this up now that we have one even layer of foundation on add a little bit more and if you guys really enjoy these videos or if you have suggestions for other like um, products from Sephora that you would like me to try out just leave a comment down below and like this video so that I know and I will definitely 
get over there and get some more um, samples to try out for you guys. Also, um, Ulta does samples as well. If you want um, additional insight on the products, let me know and I will do a video for you guys. Now, that looks, that looks a lot better. Now it's looking more full coverage to me. The Giorgio Armani foundations are not cheap. <laughs> But we'll talk about the prices and all that in a second. It doesn't look masky. It doesn't feel heavy. I like the way it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealers and powders. And I will come back with all the additional details about this product. Okay guys, I'm back. I went ahead and did the rest of my face. Put the brows on. Thumbs up for eyebrows. Um, and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts so far on this foundation. Before I continue, I have to warn you that Baby is in the background. She's in the kitchen um, eating, so if you hear any background noise, you know what it is, okay? Um, I did go ahead and set this foundation with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and the reason for that is because it's a higher-end foundation, so I didn't want to compromise the integrity of the foundation by using a um, drugstore or more inexpensive um, foundation setting powder. Um, also because I wanted to give it the best benefit of the doubt so that we could see exactly how it performs But so far so good now you can tell that there is some luminosity to this foundation I have added a little bit of highlight the highlight that I'm wearing is the wet and wild mega glow crown of my canopy and precious petals I kind of paired them up together. I did set this foundation which is funny Okay, so I set this foundation with two pretty inexpensive setting sprays um, I use my Dacia Cosmetics setting spray and I also use the elf primer mist I use that as a setting spray as well so hey I mean obviously it's totally up to you however you um, want to apply the makeup to your face is totally your decision um, but when it came to setting powders I just wanted to make sure that I gave this a really good chance you don't want to spend all this money on a foundation and then apply something that doesn't perform as well as a foundation and it kind of counteracts each other so that's really what I'm trying to say when I say um, pairing it with the right products so like I said it's totally up to you do what you feel is best let's get into the deets on this foundation I obviously don't have the packaging for it because I did not buy it this is just a sample online it says that this foundation is a lightweight foundation I agree um, that achieves a radiant silky finish I don't know if I think it's like super radiant I think it's nice but okay it comes in one fluid ounce the full size is $62 girl if you want to try the, the travel size it is $42 so I like the fact that it gives you two options you can get the travel size and then if you decide you really love the foundation and you're ready to make the investment you obviously can go ahead and purchase the full size at $62 now it is a medium to full foundation um, and it is formulated with micro fill technology producing a low density product that pairs high impact pigments with weightless texture. I really thought that 9 would be darker than 8.5. This one is the one that I'm wearing and this one is in shade 9 and this one is 8.5. So as you can see 9 is a little bit more neutral. Whereas 8.5 is a lot more warm and it clearly has like a reddish orange undertone. Okay, so before I let you guys go, I definitely wanted to give you guys two alternate foundations that you can try out that give a affordable appeal, but definitely um, give the same kind of finish. Now, obviously, I'm not a fan of calling things dupes unless I really feel confident about it and I know for a fact that it is a dupe. So I'm not saying that these are dupes for the product, but they're definitely good alternatives if you're interested in the same kind of finish as this one, um, but not interested in paying all that money. So the two that I have to share with you are ones that one you probably will not be surprised by at all. The first one is um, my L'Oreal 24 hour infallible pro glow foundation now I know some people may be like girl that is nothing like that one but this does give a very very beautiful lightweight luminous finish which is definitely what this Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation claims to do I definitely agree but to be honest with you if the question were asked do I have something more affordable at home I would say yeah and it would be this definitely would be one of my options and then the next one is by Revlon this is a Revlon photo ready foundation 
Um, and I absolutely love this one as well. This is absolutely a good alternative if you are interested in having this kind of finish for your foundation but not spending the money. So these are the two options that I would suggest for you to give a try. Um, and if you are interested in making the jump and taking, you know, that that purchase to the next level at your local Sephora, then definitely go ahead and try it out. But for one thing, I'm not a huge fan of spending almost $100 on a bottle of foundation. And it is the same amount of product in that that it is in this. That was $12 or $13 at Target. Like, girl, I'm just not a fan of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any other products that you would like to see me review from Sephora or Ulta um, that you are curious about trying but not ready to make the commitment and purchase, leave them down below. And before you leave, if you're not subscribed, definitely don't leave without hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. And also, if you're subscribed and you haven't done so already, hit that bell down below so that you get notified every time this a new video y'all I'm always coming up with something that I want to share with you there are two collabs coming up from this channel this week I'm super excited about so definitely stay tuned for those videos and until next time love y'all